In this episode of the Total Mix Effects Beginner's Guide, we will focus on monitoring. But before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and that you also click on the notifications button to get all the future updates from this channel. Now let's head over to Total Mix Effects. On the bottom right hand corner, we find the control room section where all the monitoring takes place. By default, we find a main output channel for traditionally our speakers and an additional headphone output for your headphone output on your RME audio interface. As mentioned before, Total Mix FX has three types of audio channels. We have the hardware input channels, we have the software playback channels, and we have the hardware outputs. If you are not familiar with this concept, please watch our dedicated video series about routing in Total Mix FX. So, if I select my main output speaker in the submix mode, I can easily send signals from my hardware inputs and software playback channels by turning up or down the individual channel fader. By turning up or down the main output volume channel, I increase or decrease the main volume. And with the RQSB, I can remote control the complete monitoring section of Total Mix FX without ever touching the notebook. So easily control the main volume, select my headphones or dim the speaker section. 